Welcome to Saturday Night Football. Anthony Hudson with you. We have the roof open and the benefit of the moonlight to help illuminate the ground tonight. Well, joining me for special comments for this match is Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Expecting something very special here tonight. Taking the field tonight will be Tim Kilda and the Blues. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Of course, Hutto. For me, it's all about the Carlton forwards. If they get on top early, then look out because they might be hard to stop. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners are ready for the players. Captains converge for the toss of the coin. St Kilda winning the toss. Players head to their positions as we prepare for the opening bounce. And here we go. It's in Kilda taking on Carlton. Murphy slams it onto the boot. Ball stripped in the tackle. Cripps has the ball. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. With quick hands. Dug it out. Pushes off the tackler. Loney just fends off his opponent. Kick goes astray, and it's out on the full. Winds up and goes long. Doherty determined to reach the ball. Pushes through with power. Linking by hand. A disappointing kick. Ready to bring it back into play. Plowman decides to go to himself. Moves it by foot. Great mark in the pack. Searches for a teammate downfield. Doherty wins the ball in the air. Kicks to the square. The mark is taken by Fisher. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Off hands. Scoops it up. Slams it onto the boot. Simpson doesn't take the mark. Applying the physical pressure. Abbott just threw it. Pitnett, one out in the square. Great mark. Puts boot to ball. Strong mark in the contest. Martin with the opportunity in front of goal. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. Drop cut straight through the middle. Martin celebrates with the fans. The first goal of the match. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. We're back in motion. Thrashes it. He's got the footy in his hands. Clear free, just put both hands in the back. Steele moves it now. They chase after the loose ball. Snaffled up by Ross. Goal! They get around him after that effort. St Kilda goes back into the lead. 
One down by Kutnet. Gets it out of congestion. McGovern spent it before he earned it. Hanabry quickly onto the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Billings kicks it to the square. A strong mark in the pack from Steele. Got boot to ball. The loose ball scooped up. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Savage gets a quick kick away. He has the ball. Works it across the ground. Intercepted by McKenzie. Keeps it moving. Kerno can't hold on to the tackle. Tries to release the pressure. Webster gives it to the player running past. Well collected. Hands it out to open space. Billings just gets it onto the boot. Goes through for a behind. St Kilda by two points. Teammates break for him. The ball finds Cruiser. Slams it on the boot. Collects the loose ball. Fisher throws the ball away. Billings elects to kick it long. Tackle knocks the ball loose. Dunstan finds his man on the move. Goes by hand to Hill. A good result there, and that's a goal for St Kilda. He puts through his first goal. Congratulated by his teammates. Back with another centre bounce. Tap down. Jones heads onto the ground. My ball, says the umpire. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. St Kilda aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Umpire is going to ping him here. Great tackling technique. Murphy got hands to it. Got him up. Tap down. Controlled well off the bounce. High tackle. Jones kicks it. Can't take possession. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Slapped away. Murphy shows some physicality. Applies a bump. Doing well was Cripps. Decides to soccer it. Steele tries his luck at goal. St Kilda doing well at the moment. Considering the options on the kick in. Easily takes the mark. Kick by Cruiser. Jones goes for territory. Fisher earns a free kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes that one strongly. Chose to kick it. Savage couldn't hang onto the ball. Advances through the tackle. Dishes it off. Here's Butler. He gains possession. Takes a simple grab. 50 metres from home. Hill lining up now on a 45 degree angle. Going for goal number two. Through for a minor score. St Kilda. Clee is now 10. Wiedering decides to go to himself. Looks up with a kick. The ball spills free. Up for grabs for Gresham. Receives the handball and takes off. Takes it well. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Couldn't quite with the mark. What did you make of the first term, Gas? St Kilda should be happy with their lead, Hutto. They came out focused and committed to a very good game plan. What do you make of it all, Gaz? Carlton are giving up too much free space on the opposition. They're allowing them too much room and easy contested ball.
Players ready to start the second quarter. Center bounce. Pitnet with the hit. Cripps just put it on the boot. The ball will be coming back. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? It's a really entertaining game of football. Putting his skills on display. Doherty gets in a good position. St Kilda just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. McKay just threw it. Silvani there to mop up. McGovern goes off the ground. Carlo picks up the loose ball. Pitnet thumped it clear. Squeezes out a handball. He gets his hands on the footy. Ben fires it up to the square. It's under two goals now. Marshall to kick it in. Geary hangs on to that one. Decides to kick. Couldn't take it. Ball up in the centre square. Marshall thumps it forward. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Punched away. Bounce. Works for Cross. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Goes with the kick. Gets a quick kick away. O'Brien collects it. Decides to keep it alive. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Savage hacking it out of there. And the ball bounces across the boundary line. Jones coming onto the ground. Will get the ball tossed back into play. Tossed back into play. Thumped by Marshall. Clean from the half volley. Picked up under pressure. Kept alive under pressure. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Ball up close to the boundary. Clears the contest. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Moves the ball by foot. It's marked by Phillips. Lining up for goal. With a driving kick. A race for the loose ball. Just gave it away. Sinclair hits him hard. Cleanly picked up. Jones coming on. Now we've got a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. St Kilda, ruck work needs to be a bit better. Too many of their hitouts are getting sharked by the opposition. He lays off the pass, puts on the afterburners. He goes it alone. Unbelievable. And they put it through. He puts through his first goal. Cripps wouldn't be happier with that goal. They are within a kick. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That's a really good team goal. Carlton could be better around the contest, but they need to make the most of that stat and put it on the scoreboard. Kerno dug out the loose ball. Marks now and can send it back. Just kicks it long. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Stabs at the kick. Keeps the ball in. Savage gets some distance on the kick. Doing well with the mark. 50 metres out. Lining up on a bit of an angle here is Dunstan. Looks to move it by foot. Manages to get a hand away. The ball rolls over the boundary line. Ball back into play. Winning it was Carlisle. Jones unable to lay the tackle. Gresham going for number one. The lead is now four. Weedering, unsure of the next move. Good mark there. Uses it now. Kennedy takes a strong mark. Uses it by foot. Jones with an easy mark. Puts it on the boot. 
takes an uncontested mark. Clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Goes by foot. Takes a nice mark. Elects to kick. Phillips wins the ball in the air. He drives it. Just put it on the boot. Ball collected. Gresham gets for home. The drop punt sails between the big sticks. That's his first. He's enjoying that goal. St Kilda lead by 10. The game is back underway. Thrashes it. Kerno controlled it well off the bounce. We'll get a ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Phillips lobs the handball. Billings on the ball. He can take off after that handball. Celebrating hard. St Kilda. Clee is now 16. Umpire ready to resume play. Clears the contest. Puts on a big hit. Ross releases the ball. With the ball now. Sinclair doesn't connect well at all. It doesn't score. Out on the full. Uses it now. The ball ends up with Walsh. Goes with the kick. Good grab there from Plowman. Cuts the kick in board. Terrific mark there. St Kilda haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Gets some reward for his efforts. St Kilda have kicked the last three goals. The lead is now 22. Swatson with the ball now. Cripps short by hand. Hurry kick. McKay presents and takes the mark. A chance to put one through for his side. <laughs> Going for goal number one. What a goal! McKay getting the crowd involved. Carlton reduced an intriguing first half as it stands. St Kilda 35 by Carlton 19. St Kilda will go into the rooms at halftime with plenty of confidence and back themselves for the second half. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Carlton are getting beaten at the coalface. They need to rectify these clearance numbers to give them... A big second half about to begin. Punched away. Takes possession. The ball finds okay. He goes for a broke. Manages to get the journey, but not the accuracy. Carlton now only trailed by 15. Jones looking for options now. Needs a bit of a rest. Drives it out of defensive 50. Kerno couldn't keep his hands on it. Pitnet soccer's a kick. The ball spills from the tackle. This is Cruiser. Can he put it through? Kept his head and kicked the goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Smiles all round. Carlton close the gap to nine. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Cripps now. Uses a short hand. They can link up now. Sockers a three for a goal. He celebrates hard after that. That's three in a row for Carlton. They trail by less than a goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Carlton have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Ross leads all comers on the ground. He is dominating this game. He intercepts the ball well. Over the top of the pack. Gets a hand to the ball. The ball knocked out in the tackle. A chance for McKenzie. Pittnet heading to the bench. The umpire calls for the ball now. The players will be feeling it out there. The ball goes over the boundary near the 50. Ball over the boundary line. Toss back into play. Thumps it clear. Gresham coming off for a spell. 
Now we will get a ball up. Cruiser thumps it clear. Decides to keep it alive. Kerno delivers with a straight drop. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. Carlton are back in front. Back in the middle to resume play. Simpson with a big fist on it. With the ball is Dilvani. A poorly executed tackle there. Cuts the kick in board. Finding the loose ball was Hill. Gathers it now. The umpire pings him here. The kick from Savage. A mark by Battle. He drives it. Ball hits the deck. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hunter. Has a man running for him. At full stride, receives the handball. Brown wins the marking contest. 20 metres from home. Going for goal number one. St Kilda behind by two. Weedering looking to bring it back into play. Silvani takes the mark. Got boot to ball. Finds this one all by himself. A long driving kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Chips it towards half forward. A chance to reload the attack now. Jones drives it long. Kennedy got under it. Chose to kick it. Battle gets on the end of this. Gets it away. Marshall with the ball. Seen plenty of it. He's got the footy in his hands. Puts it right through the middle. Loney enjoying that goal. St Kilda get back and grab the lead. Back in the middle now. Big thump from Jones. Did well to get a hand in. Now it's a ball up. The game is tightened right up. Jones gets onto the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. Murphy running off for a break. And we'll get a ball up. Jones hurls it away. Cripps throws the ball away. Pumps the ball long. Well taken at ground level. Simpson steals possession. Collected by Kerno. Turned it over. Goes by hand. Battle receives the ball. Had plenty of the ball. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. 25 metres out. Brown gives it a ride. That's something to smile about. He loved that one. That's two in a row for St Kilda. Now they lead by 10. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Ends up with Hill. Murphy goes by hand. Doherty was taken high in the tackle. Elects to kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Butler grabs that one. St Kilda are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Fisher just too high with the tackle. Move it on. Going for goal number three. That was sweet. They put through another. Gresham celebrating hard. St Kilda with a handy break. They lead Carlton 54 to 38. We resume hostilities. Carlo clears the contest. Hanbury has resources out wide. Ball off hands. Charges with intent. Carlo throws the ball away. Not sure what the problem is from here, but something is definitely wrong. Going straight to the rooms doesn't look good. Martin looking to track down the footy. They can create from this. Hits the target by hand. Hill rushes with the kick. Finds a target. Plays on now. Fumbles the ball. The ball mopped up. 
Just sends it into space. Has it now. Mops up the loose ball. Sinclair doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. Manages to keep the ball in play. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. The ball's knocked loose. Cripps just put it on the boot. He takes the mark. What did you think of the third term, Gaz? St Kilda will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this bit on down early and run away with a big win. Anything to add, Gaz? Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get Time to find out what happens in this final term. They need to get a move on if they're going to win from here. Cripps onto the ball. Savage took his eyes off the ball. Billings kicks hurriedly. Abbott takes it strongly. Uses it by foot. Great mark under pressure. Heads long with that kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Plowman puts it on the boot. Nunes was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Taking a nice grab. Jones short by hand. Webster found some space and marked. Works it across the ground. An easy grab for Steele. Moves it by foot. Marshall found a way to mark that one. Moves the ball by foot. Fumbles the ball. Finds the loose ball. Wins the race to the ball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. St Kilda forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Puts it on the boot. Good mark there. 40 metres from home. Casbah lining up now on a 45-degree angle. Stands tall and marks. Martin birds on by the crowd, prepares to kick. Looking to kick goal number two. The Blues now only trail by 15. The Saints have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. 25 metres out. Deep in the pocket. It's going to take a good kick from here. Yes, I know. Weedery going for number one. Carlton still within touching distance. Marshall plays on. Doesn't connect with the kick, and it'll be coming back. Kennedy doesn't want to let his teammates down with this kick. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Going for goal number one. He's missed the lot. Kennedy puts it out on the full. Gresham runs onto the field. Savage goes with the kick. Geary has it. Puts boot to ball. He gets above the crowd. Jockety hops to play on. Decides to kick. Stands tall and marks. 50 metres out. Almost directly in front here. Looking to kick goal number two. That's a really poor kick. Martin kicks it out of bounds on the full. Sinks the slipper into it. Nice hands. Kennedy drives the kick. 
He gives chase to the footy. Abbott gets a quick kick away. Takes the mark. Looks up with the kick. Gets into a good position to take that. Wants to play on. Does well to cut off the kick. St Kilda haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Punches it clear. Opportunity for Kerno. He can take off after that handball. Receives the handball and takes off. Great grab. Kennedy uses it by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Looks to move it by foot. Doesn't take the mark. Kerno just swats it away. Handballs. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Just two goals in it. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. St Kilda have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Missed the target. Wants to keep it moving. And now we'll have a ball up. Kerno thumps it forward. Phillips off the deck. Rushes with the kick. Gets the loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gaz. He just keeps finding the footy. Cruiser soccer's the kick. The ball mopped up. Ball up in the centre square. Thump clear. Slams it on the boot. Dug out by Fisher. Ball up called. Swats it. Goes off the ground. Gathered by Wiedering. Well, oh, it's tense out there at the moment, Hutto. Hammers it. Gets the loose ball. Clears the contest. He takes aim. Takes a strong mark. 20 metres from home. They can just slow the game down now. Take a bit of time off the clock. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Pretty happy with that one. 14 points the difference. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. St Kilda have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure and allowing them to win the ball back. Carlton will look back at today as a performance they want to learn and move forward from. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? St Kilda just played better team footy and proved they wanted it more. And the final result is St Kilda 9 6 60 and Carlton 7 4 46. Well, that's all we have time for. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Gaz. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.